Hello everybody and welcome back to part 25 of what if Peter Parker, also known as Spider-Man, was in the My Hero Academia universe. If you haven't seen the previous parts, there will be a link in the description below and the annotation above. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and if you enjoy the video, please make sure to text us smash that like button and I know it's very cheesy for me to say it like that, but I don't know, it makes sense with the anime I'm doing. I am going to do a small spoiler warning, although this episode is kind of self-contained story. Peter runs out of the school to the train station, going as fast as he can. He goes in the station as the train he needs to get on is leaving. Peter can't wait for the next train, so he jumps on the train. His friend is in danger, so he jumps on the train, sticking to it with his powers. While holding the case, he, he grabbed from the school. Peter gets inside the train going through a window. He goes to an unboard bathroom to change into a special suit he has in the case itself. Back at school, Gwen runs to call the teachers, running into Midoriya on the way. She bumps into him, falling to the ground. Midoriya helps her up, saying, Sorry, oh wait, you're Peter's friend, right? Gwen says, uh, Yeah, but I need to go talk to some teachers right now. I'm kind of in a hurry. Midoriya asks why Gwen and Gwen why like to Gwen and Gwen explains the whole situation. Uh, Midoriya, after hearing her her story, says, "Okay, go to the class when I dormitories. Uh, tell Mr. Aizawa what's happening, and he should be there. So tell him what happened. He will be able to call help for Peter." Midoriya runs off to get his gear to help Peter while Gwen calls, goes to call Aizawa. At the fundraiser, Harry's father run away and hid in a, in a, in a, spe, in a safe room. Like, I don't remember, in a vault thingy, I don't, panic room, in a panic room, uh, to hide from the intruders. Doc Ock uh, goes around for a couple minutes ta taking some food or d'oeuvres and whatnot and asking if anyone has seen uh, Norman Osborn. Eventually, he runs into Harry, who is scared out of his mind, trying to get Peter on the other line again. Doc Ock says, Don't bother, boy. We're jamming the si all the signals. Plus, we have some men on the ground to stop any unwanted guests from coming in. The pros won't risk us killing any of you. You're his son, right? Norman's son? Harry's terrified and tries to respond, tries to lie his way out, but words won't come out of his mouth. Octavius says, I thought so, and grabs Harry by the leg. He then says loudly, Norman! Oh, where are you, Norman? Come out, come out wherever you are. I have your son. Octavius walks toward the window, Harry dangling from one of his arms, and puts Harry above the street as he dangles above the street. Octavius says, Norman, if you don't come out in the next, let's say, 53 seconds, I'll drop your son. After all, we're on a schedule. Back at the train, Peter finishes putting on his suit as the train approaches the station. Peter panics a bit and jumps off the window since he has no time to lose, and starts web slinging towards the Oscar Tower where the fundraiser event is being held, leaving, some, like, leaving the case and some stuff behind. His spare web fluid and many other things are in the case as well. About 43 seconds have passed since Octavius called out Norman as he says, You have 10 seconds, Norman. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And Norman comes out of the panic room saying, I'm here, Otto. Let my son go. Octavius says, yes, you're here, but you're 0 0.2 seconds late. Octavius lets go of Harry and drops him towards the street. Harry is falling to his death, but about 20 meters before hitting the ground, he is caught by Peter, who says, hey, buddy, you know, you shouldn't be jumping off roofs. Kind of bad for your health. Harry looks at Peter in the weird suit he is wearing in reply, and Relief says, P Peter, is that you? Peter says, the one and only. Peter lands on the roof next door and leaves um, Harry there. And then leaves to go back towards the Oscorp building. 
Octavius grabs Norman and goes, goes to an elevator. As he leaves, he says, Oh, you two, take care of our little guest. Um, the common confuses both Electro, uh, Francis, and F Fry, and Shocker, Herman Schultz. I need to clarify since they're multiple iterations of the same character. Electro's quirk is electric manipulation he can, she can control. Uh, electricity, however, she sees fit travel through electricity, electric currents, and absorb energy, using it as food. She can also eat normal food, but yeah. Shocker's quirk is very unstable. He creates vibrations. Usually, they're very harming towards himself, but thanks to gauntlets and the suit he has made by Octavius, that only Octavius can keep up and running, he can control the vibrations, even using them as weapons. Peter then comes in through the window and says, Hello there! Electro smiles and shoots bolts of electricity at Peter. Peter dodges a couple and shoots a web covering Electro's face, saying, Not nice, lady! Peter is then hit from the back by Shocker's gauntlet's energy thingy. Peter says, Hey, I've heard of you. As he gets up from the blast. You're Herman. You're Herman. Riley told me about you. Shocker gets ready to shoot a concussive blast at Peter, but Peter just webs up the gauntlets, causing it to backfire, shooting Shocker against the wall, knocking him out and breaking the suit, like making it malfunction. Peter says, uh, sees all the by bystanders and thinks, can't let anyone get hurt. He's then hit by a bolt of lightning from the back, creating a lot of smoke. Electro says, did you really think that would keep me busy for long? Um, Peter didn't even flinch at, at the attack as the smoke clears. Peter says, nope, I just need to distract her. I can't fight two of you at the same time. As he gl gets closer to her, Electro says in surprise, but how last time we fought, I broke, I broke everything you had on you with a blast like that. Peter says, improve, adapt, and overcome. Um, web fluid com um, configuration number 12, please. Peter then webs up Electro with some insulated webs and has her dangling from the roof. He then asks, Is anyone hurt? As he looks around the room. A man named Ned Leeds says, We're all fine. He didn't hurt any of us. Just the, He just took the Osborne, he just threw the Osborne boy out the window. Oh, and he took Norman. Flashback to a few moments ago. Uh, Octavius takes Norman in the elevator. Octavius says, now, Norman, I need you to take me to the secret lab you have here. Norman asks, what lab? Octavius says, don't play games with me, Norman. Octavius then grabs the panel from the elevator and pushes a secret button that was hidden under it, hitting the, the button minus five, five, and uses Norman's retinal scan to bypass the security, which, with his handprint, the elevator starts moving. Norman asks, what are you up to, Otto? What do you want from me? Octavius laughs and answers. You don't know? It's quite simple, really. I want my revenge, Norman. You took everything from me. You took my research, my company, company and left me discredited and in ruin. You, you labeled me as a villain and had me go to jail for what happened. I had to build myself back up from nothing. You framed me for a lot of stuff, Norman. You're a little scapegoat. You branded me a villain and asked me what I want? Norman, I will make you suffer the way you made me suffer. I just need a couple things first. When they arrive at the secret underground lab, Octavius starts looking around until he eventually finds what he's looking for. Octavius grabs a case, putting many things into it, including an I the item he wanted. Norman tries to sneak off, but is caught by one of Octavius' arms. Norman says, What now, Otto? You, you got what you wanted, now let me go, please. Octavius looks at the lab, seeing reconstructions, like recreations of Harry's inventions, and says, Oh, Norman, you have no idea what I want, or what I have in store for you. Octavius grabs a syringe from his from a pocket he had and injects Strong with it as he starts, as Norman starts to laugh very crazily. <laughs> Norman's skin starts turning green. 
Octavius grabs the green purple proto armor and throws it at Norman along with a bag full of pumping bombs, other equipment, and lastly he hands Norman the glider Harry was working on. This version is a lot better than the one that was used in the sports festival though. Octavius says, now go kill your son please. Back in the present, Peter gets the people to go down the stairs so that they can get to safety. As Octavius comes out the elevator and looks Peter in the eyes, like they lock eyes with Peter. Peter says, Octavius. Octavius says, oh, Spider-Man. I see you have ta taken care of my associates, as expected from a hero of your caliber. Peter gets prepared to attack, uh, to attack as Otto says, are you sure you want to fight me, Spider-Man? Or would you rather go help your friend? Peter uh, worried says, Harry, and looks around. That moment, Norman, or as I'm now going to call him, the Green Goblin, flies off with an unconscious Harry. Octavius says, he needs your help, Spider-Man, or otherwise the Goblin's gonna kill him. Now go be a good little hero. Peter says, it's not over, Octavius, and le goes to leave. Octavius says, I doubt it is. Now go, and now go help your little friend. Peter jumps off the window and starts following the Green Goblin as he flies on the glider. Octavius retrieves his compatriots and a jet arrives to pick them up. As they leave, Octavius looks at a watch and, and says, And we had 67 seconds to spare. Peter websling after his friend catches up with the glider. He jumps in front of the glider and sees a man wearing a goblin mask, the proto-armor Harry made, and a bunch of Harry's equipment. Along with, yeah, the gear Harry's been deciding for months and says, Hello, Mr. Robbing Goblin, sir. My name's Spider-Man, and I do have to insist on, on taking that boy from you. Goblin starts la laughing maniacally and throws a couple pumping bombs at Peter. Peter dodges them throughout the air and continues the chase. He shoots a special discs that temporarily disable the, the glider's engine since he is familiar with the designs. They all start falling. Peter tries to continue web swing or, or to grab Harry but pressing the buttons he realizes oh crap I'm out of web fluid. Peter tries to replace the cartridge, but reaching for his belt, he realizes he left the cartridges on the train. He starts thinking of ways to save himself and his friends, but and his friend and the other guy, but can't think of anything. The special suit is too thick for his organic web shooters to go through it. Peter thinks of what to do, grabs his last two web mines because he had that on the suit. Uh, puts them on Harry and the Goblin, throwing them against the walls. Kind of webbing them up to the walls. Peter uh, plummets to his death, thinking, Well, I led a good life. But in the end, I did manage to save my friend. He thinks back uh, to his life, seeing it all pass through his eyes. He closes his eye eyes with a smile. As he's about to hit the ground, he's caught by Midoriya. Peter realizes he's not dead, opens his eyes and says, Midoriya, what are you doing here? Midoriya, putting Peter back on the ground, says, Your friend told me you were here. Uh, the pro sh should be here any minute. I just ran here as fast as I could. Sorry it took me so long. I had kind of had the, the train was kind of running slow. Uh, Midoriya grabs something from his pocket and gives it to Peter. Peter says, Sweet, more webs. Thanks, I can't have run out. Harry wakes up in a being webbed up to a building and kind of on the 20th floor and says, Hey, can anyone get me down from here, please? Peter then goes to retrieve his friend, like to get him down. He, while he's getting him down, he thinks he should also get the goblin down so he can go to the proper authorities. And looking at what the goblin was, he sees the goblin burn through the webs and disappeared. I do hope you all enjoyed the episode. And this series up to this point, I do have to say that this is the last episode, at least for now and for probably a long while since I do want to explore some other what ifs. 
uh, this series is going on a long break so the manga can advance the story so that I can also see the plot holes. I know there's one story arc I could make, maybe two, because the hero story arc would be the same. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. Please leave a like and just another what if you want me to do in the future in the comments. Tell me any ideas you had. Even for the future, if you guys want this series to return, there may be another part. If you go to the previous part and vote on the on the poll that's there, there may be a surprise like mini movie coming. And if you want this one to continue, all that really needs to happen is this. I'm gonna say reach a hundred likes because I know that's gonna take a long time. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Until next time, have a nice day, everyone. Bye.